EA Sports have just added another thing to the database and this time it is actually a guaranteed team of the season of course SBC code so of course this is huge news but today I'm going to be talking about before we get the SBC what to actually buy and what you can invest in to actually make coins off this SBC and some potential risks also looking of course back at FIFA 18 what the requirements for that SBC was back then but first of all I do want to mention I'm currently making this video and Saturday Today, the 11th of May and it's currently 8 o'clock when I'm currently recording this video video will probably go up at around 9 and this is very important because of course the SBC might come out of course maybe today at 6 p.m. on Saturday which in my opinion is quite likely because EA Sports usually add things to the database kind of the night before or very early in the morning and then it does come out that following day at 6 p.m. UK time so in my opinion it would make a lot of sense for EA Sports to do it now on Saturday but I do believe last year in FIFA 18 we did actually get it at 6 p.m. on Friday when the whole team was released but this year of course it is different so before we get into the next point if you are new here make sure you do subscribe we are aiming for 22,000 subscribers and I'm also going to be making a lot more videos about team of the season so you definitely don't miss them so going back into the point now of course here is the code we can clearly see that but looking at the FIFA 18 requirements now what it was in the past last year we can see that it was team of the season you only needed one player then the overall rating was actually min minimum 81 team chemistry was low of 65 and of course you just need 11 players in the squad but one huge thing it was also for two days so if it's going to come out today on saturday it will last until monday 6 p.m uk time and these sbcs of course are very good but one thing i am worried about if you're going to invest in these cards is this is actually a non-repeatable sbc see and I'm not too sure that everyone knows that last year was non-repeatable so I'm assuming this year is going to be non-repeatable as well I do think though on Monday and after this two days of course they should release another SBC another guaranteed team this season SBC that is the type of thing they were doing last year so of course that will kind of still keep these up but if they were repeatable definitely you should invest in these cards but because they're not of course that is a bit risky on the screen here you can see of course the cheapest team this season and players in my opinion you can go and pick them up but also I think a better investment will actually be rare cards from the Premier League from other good leagues that is going to be very good because they are going to release of course the league upgrade SBCs that they do always release every single time and also just some high rated cards maybe 83 84 I do know this rating of is of course very low but still if they are going to use a lower rated team of the season for example 80 rated then you are going to have to push the rating back up with 80 rated cards 83 rated cards so in my opinion just to summarize this video I don't think it's going to be good to actually invest in team of the season players lots of people have already done that and it is also a non-repeatable SBC according to last year so I think that's a bit risky I would just stay on the safe side and try and get some rare cards from the top five from the top five leagues and also actually just get some high rated cards maybe 82 83 rated cards that are very cheap right now thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time